In just a moment, I'll give you a brief explanation behind each answer, linking vocabulary or contextual links between the text and the question. I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to, and take your time to find the vocabulary and contextual links that I'll be talking about. Are you ready? Let's go. For question one, the answer is C. The part in the text about Breton regaining popularity can be found in lines 8 to 11. Around 3,000 children in Brittany are educated via this immersion method that has played an important role in the revival of the Breton language. For question two, the answer is D. The criticism regarding expecting too much is found in lines 12 to 14, especially when it says, other British parents said, how dare you do that? Don't your children have enough to take on? For question three, the answer is C. The less rigid way of thinking can be seen in the text in lines 30 to 33. Bilingual children have two or more words for objects and ideas, so the links between words and concepts are looser, allowing more fluent, flexible and creative thinking. For question four, the answer is D. The example of the milk bottle illustrating a previous way of thinking about the brain can be seen in lines 38 to 40. We used to think the brain has a limited capacity like a milk bottle, dot dot dot, and so on. For question 5, the answer is B. Being better equipped to learn foreign languages can be found in the text in lines 66 to 69 regarding multilingual children pick up other languages quickly because they have a more flexible approach and are used to handling different forms of syntax, grammar and vocabulary. For question 6, the answer is A. Jump at it is a substitutive form which refers back to jumping at the opportunity, it, to give their child the gift of another language, and that parents should do this.